hello welcome back to another one so i wasn't in time to cancel the lot that i ordered so i ordered a, a, it was an auction on both of them one was generic photos for 20 kilos and one was actual photos for seven kilos so the 20 kilos come in the two kilo bags and the seven kilos come as one lot and i've got the husband to divide it up into one kilo bags Again, he said it looks like tangled junk. Chuck it out, but he doesn't like any clutter or anything like that anyway, so who knows? Um, I mean, he's probably right, but we'll do one bag at a time and see how we go for time and see what happens. So that'll be the, this will be, unless something mir miraculous happens, this will be the last time I order from them. I've ordered a 10 kilo box from another seller. Um, I haven't opened that yet, so who knows? Who knows? We'll see how we go. Right, let's get started. Oh, tangles already. Undo you. Lost nice labels. Not great, are they? Still caught somehow. Maybe it wasn't this time. What are you? Agatha. I was going to say that looks like a nice chain. We'll have to see what that is in a minute. This one's accessorised. That's actually quite a nice bib. I like the style. Um, but that'll go in the lock. See what we can get from the side. We've got an evil eye. God, this is really tangled, actually. I think we're going to have to start. How is that? Start doing them as we go. Best friend. That's a key ring. That'll go in a key ring lock. That's a nice bit of quartz. It's not marked as silver. It looks like it could be, so it could, might just be plated. Everything looks silver. Oh, it has got 925 on there. But the clasp doesn't look like it and is not marked. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so this don't want to come out. Yes, you do. Does look promising. If not, it's definitely a good plating. I mean, look, the weight in that alone. We'll have to test all the little bits, different bits. It's a nice chain as well, like a herringbone style. Um, and the only mark there is, is that there. Can you see there? So we'll have to test that. It's really nice if it is. Fingers crossed. Oh, so far so good already. Possibly, potentially, maybe. Luminous. Let's pull you out. MS necklace. Probably plated. I'll go in the job block. You look interesting. Oh, these look like they're horror film scream. 
Uh, is that one Chucky? Oh God. Interesting there. Freddy Krueger. Ooh, scary but interesting. An axe. That is interesting. I'll keep that. Um, little abalone earring. That's the side. Gonna come out easy. All right, we got a little busy bee pin that'll go in the top part. Uh, uh. All right, we got some. This is plastic, but these are mother of pearl. What do you say? Made in Norway. O P R O 925S. Well, that doesn't look like silver. Is it gold plated silver? Do they even use 925? That doesn't look like it's a precious metal. It might just be a coincidence of a pattern number or something but we will test it just in case this one um will go in vintage broken put the hair and the string in the bead here um, i think we're just gonna have to try and find some clasps and hope for the best what are you an earring, just a little enamel earring, another one of them, and there, and oh my god, this is so tangled, accessorise, Um, earring, a little bit of plastic looking wood, sorry, wood looking plastic, wood earrings, we got a little bee, he looks quite cute, undo you. Wish. Oh, it's a wish bottle. Cute. Um, what is this? Is this an earring or something? Yep. That's right tangled in there. Um, and it Oh no, it's not Mother Strand. Hold on. No, it's not coming out yet. Get lost. Um, what do you say? Blaze Designs. I wonder if they're crystal. There. Oh, come on. That's that. Can I get you out of there? Yes, I can. That does look like crystal. It doesn't look like a precious metal. Mm hmm. But we'll look up those, uh, test them. I'll put them in the um, stone lot to see what they could be. Another clasp there. Oh. It's attached, 
there. This one feels like it's going to take forever. Um, just a beaded necklace that will go in a dead block. Um, Another big fat tangled mess. Clasps undone. Get that string out. Come on. Something wants to come undone. I do come in there. attached to that okay so we've got this one it's like embroidered it's accessorized but it's really grubby so I'm gonna pop that when it's going green that in there right we've got a bangle and bangle lot it's quite an unusual plastic ring uh, chunky with a little stud on the top there. Hmm, I'll go in a ring slot. Or will I keep that? I might keep that. I don't know. I quite like it. Anything else to pull out? It's a nice pendant, isn't it? I that's on the Agatha. Possibly. This is mental. I really hope that out of the seven bags, this I've managed to pick the most tangled one. Freedom tag. Nice glass beads there. Oh, there's that bee again. Do you go with the flower, I wonder? Yes, I think you do. Let's take you off there. little charms here by here what's that say fossil oh I think this one might be a fossil one still very knotted though goodness me what's that one next it's not the one we're looking for Yeah, this is fossil with the bee and the flower. Ah, it's come free. So, it's really cute how that's done. So, you hook that on there. That says fossil on the clasp there. So, that a little dangle on your neck. And then we've got a nice flower and a dangling bee. It's really cute. I like that. It sounds very tinny though. I'll um, pop that up there. I'll be keeping that one. Are you ready to show your class? Are you already undone? No. That is attached to that. Let's undo that. No, it's the hooked bit we've got to try and get out. All of this. Right, that looks possibly handmade. Um, 
but it's still nice enough that can go in the top part. I don't even know where to start when it's this tangled. How do you pick your next one to try and untangle? Right, you. Because you should come free. Uh, why aren't you coming free? Come on. Ah, oh, there we go. We've got some beads on a little ropey style chain. That would be on the job block. Uh, this is a pair of earrings. I think this hook should come out and help untangle some. Maybe. Let's get the plastic bit off. Yep, there's one earring out. Oh, I've actually got the plastic bit. Pop that back on. Um, and the other one is tangled in one necklace. Or maybe two necklaces. Let's undo you. I think you might be the wish bottle. Is that what's the wish bottle tangled with? Something else? Right, the wish bottle has come free. It's got, oh, you know those um, make a wish blow away flowers. Can you see that in there? That light's crap, isn't it? No. I should be able to make that out. But that'll go into, I might put that in kids actually. It's quite cute. Put that in a kid's lot. No, it's glass. I don't know. Damage them so that can go in the job lot. Right, now does this... Oh, that's coming out. That's coming out. We have a pair of loopy earrings. So they can go in paired earrings. Does this want to come free? <coughs> that's not that. Let's say Lisa Angel. Don't know what's attached to what. I think it's this pendant, isn't it? Yeah. Let's undo this. I can't remember Lisa Angel. I think I might have looked it up before anyone anything special. But I will keep it aside to look it up again, just in case. I'm very often wrong. Looks like a sparkly star. And then got all stars and shining out there. It's quite cute. I'll look that up. Um, let's try and carry on undoing this mess. <coughs> We've found a clasp. It's got you out there, but oh, no, you're free. Little chevron from Freedom, that'll go in the top lot. Next one. Oh, you come free easy. Uh, I think that's glass. Let's see if we can get you off. I don't think you want to come free. Chop, chop. Let's put some rubbish down there for now. No, uh, no label or anything. Just go and job lot. Um, what's that? Just a little pendant. It's in better days. That'll go in 
broken. And I don't think that'll come free until a lot later on. Uh, let's undo you. That's a U on a Figaro chain. No name. Probably an Amazon jobby. coconut shell um, I don't really understand why it's got two clasps on it and the chain is discoloured so I'm going to put that in broken undo you So tangled in here somehow. Extra long chain. But like this one, it's a little owl. He's kind of cute. I might take him off there because he's in good condition, but the chain is yucky. Or not. Someone can use them for something. Um, let's try and get this one out. That is a multi strand. Dainty little beads in gold colour. That didn't have a tag on it, so that will go in. Uh, this one is stuck between everything, it's like it's holding everything together. We find a clasp. Ah, it's already undone. It's got a groovy little owl. <coughs> so let's try and untangle him. Oh, he looks like he's knotted in. No, maybe not. Nope. So we've got a groovy little owl on a long necklace. You alright? So I'll go in the job block. Um, what's that? A little bracelet with a unicorn. That can go in a kiddie slot. Yep, you're coming free. UK, five pounds. Essence. Rubbish. And get that out. That's just a sparkly necklace. New tags. That'll go in the job lot. You want to come out yet? Get the string. No, if you don't want to come easily, you will get the chop. I think I might be able to get this one out. Yeah, that's a decent cord. It's just a S little. What are they called dolphin? Um, like a touristy piece, I suppose. broken the bead off of there more big tangles it's a cute little charm bracelet that is motorbike, moped, 
Paris moped, an Eiffel Tower moped and an old car. It's quite a big wrist, isn't it? Yeah. Um, that can go in the drop -in. That's, um, I don't know what that is off of, but glass bead. This is some multi strand. Oh, with the glass as well. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, I see. Oh, that was relatively easy. So we've got the glass. Got the flower, them holding together with sparkles and glass beads and glass pearls. It's quite nice. That'll go in a job block. It's heavy as well. Oh, we're getting there. Right, what are you? You look like you're easy to come out. You're broken. Could you be silver? Highly unlikely, but we'll test anyway. Um, dangly one from next. I'm going to chop block. That's very pretty. It's very nice, all the marker seat. That's stamped 925 in there. Can you see? I don't know if it looks it there though. I think that says it's 925 on there. Yeah, I'll test that. That's a heavy bit. It's really nice. I like that pendant. Potential. Uh, outstretched wooden beads um, accessorize um, that's all right that can go in the block freedom a top shop go in the block wants to come through yet. Nearly. Hold up. Yep, you're free. Faux pearls for a faux pearl lot. Shame the chain is in better days, so that are going broken. Uh, this one has got a sparkly love heart on it, a little heart on the end. Looks like it was plated. Nice, I'll just double check. No, I don't think it is anything. No, you can see it wearing off slightly, but it's still got some use in it. It's quite nice. This is the Agatha one. Agatha. And it's run away. It's nice, I love the blue with the green. It's very pretty. Yeah, that's very nice. I think I'll keep that one. <clears throat> Do you want to come free? Oh, 
Oh, you actually have a clasp. Right, so this is called Unnamed Earth Battered Heart. That looks new. So that'll go in a job block. Let's get rid of some of this. I don't know where this cotton's coming from. Um, surfer style bracelet that's in better days that going in there and buy in there and then broken oh, you're free with something else clasp uh, just a dangly glass tassely chainy thing You want to stay on there, don't you? Uh, sparkly chevron style. Plain gold chevron style. Oh, that's one of them Victorian style chokers. With an attached hair and then a job block. Ah, there you go. No name on that. Just a little um, dangly sparkle. Then job block. And this one is new with tags French Connection. So plastic and wooden beads. No price on it, but that can go in the newer tag slot. Alright, let's do our testing. We've got three bits, to, four bits to test. Marked, but not sure on that. Marked, but not sure on that. Unmarked, and um, possibly a pattern number. <laughs> and it's solo as well, but we could find the other one, couldn't we? Hmm, it's possibly silver. not that's coming through a goldy colour so that going broken right pendant potential somewhere chain um Let's just do them first. The earring is silver. Definitely some red, it's not gone as bright as the rest straight. Oh yes, yes. Um so that is all silver. That's really heavy that is. Really pretty as well. Right, I'll try this one next. Class. Potential. Chain. Potential. Potential. Uh, should we do a bit of the metal work? I think this is all made out of silver, my goodness.
and the chains on the ends. Let's test all of those bits. My goodness, it's all silver. Yep, all of it. Wow. Gosh, it's things like this it's going to make me think, oh, don't give up on them. I'm happy to have them, but it kind of just makes you want to change your mind, doesn't it? Because these are really, really nice chunky pieces. Should we weigh them? Let's see if my scales are even. Got any? Yeah, they've got some battery. Put them together. Although there is a stone, isn't there? So that'll take some off. But that's ninety-three for two necklaces. Wow. worth it isn't it so we've got the quartz and all the parts of silver it's nice flower no names on them or anything um then the norway silver earring um the plastic ring the fossil necklace, the Agatha necklace, the horror movie charm bracelet, and we're going to look up Lisa Angel. I'm sure I've looked it up before. I recognise it. Um, so yeah, that was a good bag, and that was only a kilo as well. Yeah, definitely only a kilo. So goodness me. Yeah, that is a really good deal. All right. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Let's hope the next ones are just as good. We'll see. Um, see you next time. Bye-bye.